Hey, what's up, guys? So, you know, it's best here. We're early this morning. Apple released Final Cut Pro 10 in the Mac App Store today. So, I woke up this morning, checked Twitter on my iPhone, and saw people talking about it. Opened up the Mac App Store, and here it is right here, throwing it in your face and trying to entice you to buy it already. Um, anyway, it's available for $2.99. Um, you know, also, you can download Motion and Compressor separately uh, for $49.99 each. So, the total package, if you wanted to, would be $400. But again, you can just get Final Cut Pro 10 by itself for $2.99. And come over here, go to check the little page out here, customer reviews already nine five star ratings um and um it's about a 1.33 gigabyte download so i started downloading it right before i did this video here and it's already done so let's go ahead and open it up shall we so we're going to see how fast the uh, new final cut pro 10 opens up here and well there it is it's pretty fast um so definitely faster than iMovie on my computer so that's crazy um anyway you can tell but speaking of iMovie you can tell it looks a lot like iMovie as far as just the in general layout so it's going to be a little bit more comfortable for people going to be switching over from iMovie to final cut um, and for the Final Cut Pro noobs like I am. Um, anyway here, so there's a layout here. I'm just going to go ahead and import a file here. I'm going to find uh, this fire video and this uh, little bird there I started at the zoo. So boom, those videos are in there ready to go here. So I can go ahead and let me turn my volume down. I go ahead and start just playing the video here. It's already done. I can go ahead and start uh, editing it if I want to. Well, it's not done yet. Uh, looks like down here there's a little circle here and it says show hide the background task window all right so this is the rendering so yes so it's oh, i guess it paused oh there it goes <laughs> so anyway um so once you uh import the clip in here you can go ahead and start editing and doing stuff but it is going to be doing all that rendering and stuff in the background uh so i think i said before it's already done rendering but it wasn't done it just got done rendering so now it says 100 percent that all those background tasks are done so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and uh, create a new project here i'm gonna go ahead and title it fire we own five okay but anyway i'm gonna drag this clip down here and now you see this new little timeline interface here where you can uh uh adjust the the volume here if you wanted to if i can click on it there we go just the volume here turn it up and down if you wanted to also you can adjust the fade in the fade out here by these little sliders here there's another one right over here so i can do that if i wanted to as well just like that and also here in the top left hand corner here, we got all the, just a little quick access to all the adjustments you can do too with the audio enhancements, show video animation, all that stuff. So I'm hit the analyze and stabilize here. And what you see here, it gives you all this options here, but you see here now this little uh, circle here. So the background task windows now 1%. And it's doing all that again in the background, but I can still scrub through the video and add other effects to it if I wanted to. Again, if I open up this background task here, there it is doing that good old work there. Um, and so now I can get in here and do some distortions if I wanted to get in here and do some other stuff here. Again, while all that background task is happening here, it kind of get like a little, kind of the same little bit effect I do in my videos. Uh, but anyway, this is not really my, my tutorial walkthrough yet. I'm just going to, I just want to announce to you actually that Final Cut Pro 10. I started showing you all these different things here. But again, I'm going to spend a couple of days just messing around with it. And I'll make a video just showing my my thoughts about the new Final Cut Pro 10. But if you want more information, I'm pretty sure a couple guys here on YouTube, uh, Matt Smackintosh and TLD Today, I'm pretty sure they probably already got some videos up on YouTube showing you how to use Final Cut Pro 10. There's some Final Cut gurus. But anyway, stay tuned for more information about that. Oh, and before I get out of here, Apple also released some brand new uh, time capsules today. So if you go to apple.com, you can check out to do time capsules and i'm talking really fast i don't know i didn't even have coffee yet um but anyway uh they released a new time capsule and basically it's a three terabyte um, option that you have now and plus on their website it says it's going to be even faster for time machine backup so we'll have more information coming up uh, coming about those soon so anyway guys leave a comment down below about what you think about the new final cut pro 10 have you downloaded already what are you waiting for before you download it or are you going to stick with imovie or the current final cut i just want to see what you guys think down below but thanks for watching guys and i will catch you later peace Breakfast time.